about it right now, you must be following some kind of approach or strategy to make the money that you're actually making. Now, of course, for most people, that strategy typically involves quite a lot of exchanging your time for money. Now, can we agree, is there a limitation in the strategy of just exchanging your time for money? Yes or no, guys? Yes. Because only one of you earn only so much hours in a day. So a wealthy person would tell you the one thing that you must learn to do is to leverage yourself. That means working for small amounts of time for much larger amounts of money. So I'm guessing the reason that you're here is where you would like to be financially is making maybe two, three, four, five, ten, maybe twenty times more income than you do right now. Maybe here you've got the time to do the things you want to do, when you want to do them, with who you want to do them with. But does it make sense to you? If you want to produce this different financial result to the one that you've been making over there, does it make sense to you that you need to be following different strategies to the ones that you are using over there? Yes or no, team? Yes. So the question we have to answer in our short time together is, if what you're saying is, right now I'm here, and here's different for everyone. You might be here making 30,000 a year, some 50, 100, 500, a million. But you want to get over there, wherever over there is for you. The question is, how do you do it? How do you get yourself from where you are financially to where you want to be financially? Well, does it make sense to you to get where you want to go in life? You need a vehicle, something that gets you to where you want to go. Yes or no, team? Just let your secret, this was the interactive part of my event. <laughs> why is it some of you in this room did not join in? And I'll tell you why. Because, unfortunately, many people are too afraid to stand out. We're too afraid to stand up and speak in front of all the folks, unless you're the only person doing it, because then you'd stand out. But isn't that why you came? Didn't you come to stand out? Yes or no, guys? Yeah. I often say to people, why do we try so hard all our lives to fit in when you're actually born to stand out? <laughs> There's nobody like you. Be yourself and shine brightly. Make your voice being important enough. So if I've asked you a question, please answer, because the only way I'm going to know if the stuff I'm teaching you makes sense, but you get it, is to check in with you. And the volume of your response will be based on how I continue. And I'm going to have to teach it again, because I didn't teach it well clearly, so then we'll be out very late tonight. So, we do a favour of asking you a question, will you all join in? Let's see what sort of noise we can make in this room. Yes or no, team? That's good, let's keep the energy high. So does it make sense to you that the vehicle you need to have to get to where you want to go, does it make sense to you that that vehicle should be one where the skill is rare and in demand? Would that make your stock value go up if that was the case? Yes or no, team? Yes. So the skill I want to begin to talk to you about is the skill of professional public speaking. Because think about it. Whether you are looking to go up the corporate ladder, 